back in between and I you did my normal thing back you, there. You, you got it corrected. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was a mistake. Uh, Miss Teresa, she wasn't even back there. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. There you well, go. Well, looks like looks like when I'm running it, that's what it looks like. We've we've had a lot of technical difficulties there, but we worked through them like always. Uh, I thought this turned out really well. So yeah. Well, here we are again. Here we are. Hello. Again. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. So, um, go ahead and repeat everything we said last. Uh, basically, I do the me uh, maintenance and the mechanical work out at the uh, Strikers Bowling Center, newly named. And, uh, you know, like I said, if anything breaks, come and get me. I'm always usually there. It seems like every day of the week. And then what did I say? I blame it on the... Oh, yes. I, I know. Uh, blame it on uh, the night. Uh, I can't go down that road again. Uh, what you can't call him knuckle dragger? <laughs> I'm yeah, already deep enough, this sir. Guy walking around with his knuckles. I dragging. don't need that last shovel full of dirt over my head. I don't. Ah, uh, come on. I don't. Man. I got to breathe. I have to have a little oxygen. So. Okay. Well. Anyway, the knuckle dragger is a, a really good fellow. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come to work here for real? <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think. Uh, I don't think you don't think, you don't think the world champion bowler would would fire you. No, over. not at all. You don't. No, he's uh, got a very good sense of humor. Yeah, when he's on his meds. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don, Don, I love you, buddy. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk about folk art. <laughs> I, I I I re uh, I repair machines and that's that's the majority of my life. <laughs> this show is really gone that way. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I really want to join in. I do, but I I have to draw the line somewhere. I do. Does anybody else out there know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it hurts if I'm in so hard. <laughs> you know what's funny. Don, that, <laughs> you guys got them high chairs over there to sit in? Yes, sir. And and whenever Don has to get up in one of those, there's a step stool that y'all made for him so he can step up and get up in the chair. <laughs> that is private information there. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was so excited watching that game over there last night. He fell out of that chair twice. Are you serious? <laughs> serious. It's a long way down. <laughs> You know, the other day I called, and the phone rang and rang and rang, and didn't know what was going on, and, you know, I decided to drive over and see what the problem was, and I got there, and the phone was up on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Don, I love you. I really do. And, and not any other kind of way other than a, a good Christian way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't pay for advertising like this, Don. Come be an advertiser, Don. WK and I. Well, I'll tell you, we'll tear you apart. <laughs> but, but we will advertise you. We will. <laughs> we will get the word out. <laughs> it was on the shelf. It was, it was. on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit too high. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have stayed in my family. What color is my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, the same green as it was. Uh, oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Don, we love you. <laughs> Pick on me, will you? <laughs> yeah, he had his... <laughs> you gonna stay at home? <laughs> uh, man, <laughs> he is wide awake right now. He is. You know, right now. Hopefully, he turned back over and went to bed. And no, he didn't. He's he's. he's but saw, other people will tell him about the interviews. Yeah, so they will. We'll get back to him. And uh, we, you know, actually, you know, he's six foot six. Yes. Okay, striking, handsome young man. Very. Oh, very I'm talking bad. about Toby. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Get it straight. I was confused. I, I was about to go in the red hair routine and everything. But, yeah, uh, he does have red hair. He does. Oh, his. Now let me tell you something. His family's gorgeous. Now his daughter is. Now that's no joke. Yeah. No joke. Uh, beautiful young lady, yes. and he is so proud of her, and she's proud of him. Yes. I yes. don't know why, but uh, she's. I think proud she just of made him. head cheerleading down. Hair where she's cheerleading. At, uh, and 
she's, and she's, uh, she's a bowler, yes. and she's going to come up here and bowl and, and all that. So, uh, wonderful family man and family. Yes, that we will say. I agree. Even though he's short. And with that said, <laughs> let's talk about folk art. Oh yes, that's what we're here for. Uh, Anybody let's just that continue on with the other. That was too much. That, fun. It is fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got Rick Long. Uh, yes. And your father was well known around the community. Uh, yes, my father was uh, Woody Long. And uh, he has since passed. And, uh, yes. And, uh, unfortunately, and uh, he's left a legacy behind of, of beautiful artwork. He has. And we've got a piece here that we can show um, if you want to grab okay. it real quick. And I don't know if he named them or you named them or do you? Oh, uh, they were basically, uh, that was just called Angels. He did that theme so many times. Uh, my father got to start out at the uh, LBW College. Uh, Mr. Lonnie Rich was the art instructor out there. And uh, there we go. That's pretty good. And my dad, uh, you know, took the uh, class, and Lonnie uh, encouraged him to uh, continue on. Uh, he had a few starting shows out there at the LBW College. And, uh, you know, the town took to his work, and from there the nation took to it. And, you know, the rest is basically history. He's a... Uh, uh, he's famous he, from here. He is. He is, and that's and, a, and we've got local talent here. Yes. Oh, there's a lot of good local talent. And, uh, he is uh, also showing at the uh, Smithsonian Museum. They took up a collection of all the uh, folk artists out of the '90s, and uh, uh, he's represented there in Washington D.C. So uh, he had a really good lucky stretch because uh, a lot of artists don't make it in their lifetime until uh, they die. Until they die, and uh, I'm I'm one of those uh, <laughs> later. Later in life, you know, my stuff uh, will start to increase, but, uh, you know, the sales will come. But uh, it, it's very rare that you do make it as an artist in your life. I think starving should, artist is I a, think Don should put these up in the bowling alley. Uh, it would add a lot of color to the place. It would. It would. And I've actually thought about doing a few bowling themes. That way, you know, it would go with the place. <laughs> the so, short guy? Uh, I would have him in there, yes. <laughs> yes. He would be sitting back in awe as I was bowling my 300. So yeah, that, right. that would be the, the picture I would paint. <laughs> and you do folk art. I do, I and, do. And what are the different, what is folk art? Uh, folk art is basically uh, untrained art. Uh, you know, I've been exposed to one class in, uh, I think, junior high. Everybody's, you know, made to take one of the classes. It's just uh, folk art is just uh, really homegrown talent. There's no training to it. Uh, it's just whatever anybody has in them, what they want to produce. And a lot of times folk art is other things, uh, you know, crafts and stuff like that also are included in the uh, folk art world. And actually, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff dates back to uh, 1800s that are being collected. Uh, I'm talking little dolls and stuff that were put together. So it's all one big world of just basically uh, not really untrained, but, uh, you know, not really trained people. You know, I can't sit down and actually do a bowl of grapes that look like a bowl of grapes. Mine will have color. They will have, you know, the grape images. But uh, that's that's basically, you know, what I deem the differences. Well, Picasso was he not folk art or uh, would, would he, he was, be considered? Uh, he was expressionist, I believe. No, not expressionist. No, he was. I'm lost on my history. Yeah, he, I never but, really took the courses. But his but, stuff was not like a. Grape. No, it was not mainstream. No, right. no, it was no, not no. grapes, and it no, wasn't. No, Monet. You know, uh, none of them. Uh, Monet did the dots. Monet, uh, yeah. You know, uh, well, that, none of those. Uh, that, I saw my first Monet one time, and it well, one time obviously, but <laughs> Don's over there. Yeah, one time he probably did. <laughs> but anyway, when I first saw it, my first time I saw Monet, I was taken back by the yes. way he does it. And it, and it, it, you got how do you think about those things to have the dots and the the colors and everything? Well, you think about it that that is what the resolutions are now when you do a printout. There are micro That's dots. Right. So I mean, he was way, way, way ahead of his time. Wow, it's amazing. It is, and uh, we've got a piece here. Now Eddie's not quite favored on this piece. I have. I know. I, know. I brought in a uh, Auburn over Florida football painting. That's some of my latest works. And as you can see, I do very, very easy work. Uh, anybody could do what I do. I just like to present the color. I'm all about color. I love anything to do with color. Uh, I, I say to anybody out there, you, you have this kind of work in you, just, just get busy. You know, people say, oh, I can't do anything. Uh, no, everybody is an artist. It may not look like art to other people, but everybody has something in them. Well, anybody that takes the time. Yes. Okay, to sit down and, and put out something. Now, to me, that's art. 
Okay, I, I yes, mean, sir. really, I, I I agree with you. A lot of I would hope so. You're the artist. Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking in general, but go ahead. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I like going to galleries, and I like going to uh, I, I like sculpting, I like paintings, I like photography. Right. All of that's artwork. Right. And and then you know. Uh, well, I've seen in your house you have some nice pieces. Exactly. Very in nice. fact, um, I should have brought it, but I've got a glass blow, blown va vase. Oh, wow. Okay, and it's incredibly uh, in valuable. I mean, this was done, who was it done by? Uh, Jacques. Jacques. Uh, right. Very famous French. Uh, who? It's over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll show that, too. Okay, in, okay. Uh, Yeah, this is where all the alarms and everything are. But uh, this is a vase done by him. I, I have looked at that several times. Yeah. Yes. And uh, a little dusty, but it's a vase and it's signed and and all that. You know, with the etching. Look at the work that was involved in that. There, there's a, a you know, that's a ball inside, with all the flower work on it, and it glows in the dark. In the dark. Oh wow. Okay. And these things retail online right now for about eight grand. Wow. Okay. I can see why. There is a lot of work in that. There's a tremendous amount of work yes. in it. And uh, a lot of skill. Uh, and not it's very heavy because it's solid glass. Yes. Okay. It's not, a, you think it was a vase and you put flowers in it and things like that. You don't want to put flowers in it. And you don't want to put water in it. Right. You know. It's decoration uh, in its, its own. It's a decoration. And, uh, but it's, uh, that, that's artwork. Okay, Very different much. type of, of yes. than painting. Yes. But if you look at the con you know the concept and, and what he done with this, I don't think they can see the flowers on it. But you know, there's uh, flowers coming up from the bottom. Right. And and feel how heavy that is. Yeah, that's solid. That's solid. Solid glass. piece. It is. And uh, you know, it's just amazing, you know, how they they make that. And I've watched them. They've had videos on it, but. Uh, Let's go to your art. And Teresa, you want to come get this because I don't want it to get knocked off the yeah. desk. <laughs> Trying to find the safest place to Yeah, there to ain't set no place no. on here. We, we, <laughs> we, we, we've discovered that on this news desk that there is no safe that place. That is heavy. It is. Got it? Now, this is absolutely, totally fascinating. Well, thank you. I, uh, okay. That, that is what's brought me back into the, uh, the arts. Uh, I used to do it heavily through the 90s. Uh, Recently, I've gotten back into it, uh, trying to just uh, produce a little bit of what I uh, call religious art. That um, at one time people used to always hang maybe a, a laminated Jesus in their house. There was always some kind of religious works, but if you find now there's not anything really being sold lately that is nicely religious. It's all maybe a Chinese little thing made in China or something. But uh, you know, I would like to produce artwork like this that people would be proud to hang in their homes and bring you know religious back in as a art form not just as a religious content but something nice to look at also with meaning well there's a little something about this okay that's different than the, the there, artwork that we've shown you so far yes uh, every, everything on here is made with clay the natural color natural okay natural and, and what's neat about it is there's purple clay on there yes there yes. is uh, brown clay, and there is dark brown clay. Yeah, I have King's Gold. Uh, what I do is uh, when the local grader comes down my dirt road, I go behind him, and I try to pick up uh, as much of the clay as I can. And I'm blessed with uh, purple, yellows, uh, just a variety of colors, maybe five or six colors that I can uh, harvest right there within a matter of 20 feet or so out of the street. So I pulverize them after once they're dried, I bring them back to a paint, and then I uh, use my hands and I just paint all kind of uh, religious scenes with uh, just natural colors. No paint involved, no pigments added, uh, just all natural. And I want folks to look. And they're on wood to where they're... Uh, it's on wood. Yes, they're, they're, they're meant to last. Box. And that gives them a little depth to where I can do stuff on the sides and, uh, and not just a simple canvas, but it being mud and dirt, uh, the canvases tear up a little bit, so the wood is the best uh, uh, I guess medium to the put them actually canvas on. Canvas bouncing back and forth. Exactly, not, exactly. You know. And after a time, the canvas just stretches with your hands on it mm -hmm. and stuff. It was really, you know, meant for paintbrushes. But uh, the uh, religious stuff, uh, 
I go out and I find uh, wood here and there in dumpsters, and I try to recycle the wood that I, I use also and in, uh, incorporate just all green product, I guess you would call it. All godly made all products. All godly, godly green, yes. Yes. And everything and that, that you know, I use, God did make, yes. Yeah, and that's, that's what's kind of neat because when you say, you know, your religious paintings, it, it's made of the earth and of, of what yes. natural things are yes. here. Yes, yes. Uh, now, you say this is anybody can do it. I mean, I know yeah. there's, I, can't, I, I sit there and I look at that and I go, no, I can't even paint by numbers, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pretty bad about that. <laughs> well, uh, I learned something this year, I uh I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but I judged, uh, you know, the art out at the uh, fair, and there is a variety of artwork. You're the one that, that see, I know, I shouldn't why, have said that, but. That's why I quit painting, because I was rejected. <laughs> no, we, we, there's no rejections out there. There just may, may not be a ribbon on your piece, but, uh, you know, I looked across the board, and all ages turned in work, and there was all qualities of work, but it was all good. Because I could see that that person took the time to do what they, they, they wanted to do, and they're proud of that. So, no, anything turned into the fair is always appreciated. Well, we're looking at uh, trying to get you a gallery open here locally. We're talking about that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to get something where other artists, there's a lot of artists in this area, a lot of good talent, Eddie. Uh, I just can't say it enough. Right. Uh, artists that are, you know, selling in other areas, uh, little pieces here and there. What I would like to do is get something together here in town where they have an avenue to get it out. Everybody says, hey, I can't pay rent here or here, but if you had like a community type uh, get together of the artist, you know, I think that that would be something that would work. Well, we're working on it with you and, yes. and trying to put it together, yes. and, yes. and uh, uh, that would be something wonderful to uh, have here in the community. I believe it. And uh, there's, like, like you say, there's lots and lots of people here that are talented, and uh, they can share their expressions, they can share their emotions. You know, through art, and <clears throat> that's Absolutely. the way it's done. Yes, sir. Folk art is the more loose way of getting the expression out there, and and uh, you're not, you know, held to any guidelines. I don't think, other than getting the colors and getting, you know, right. the things out there that that are appeasing to people. Correct. And uh, correct. You know, some people may look at that and go, "Hmm." You know, I'd prefer a perfect photograph of you know the Auburn. Uh, right, Florida, right. you know, football team. Now, majority of the people would, you know. Um, you know, I hear comments all the time. My, my kid can do that kind of work. Uh, you know, I, I say, let your kid do it. Uh, you know, and there's a future. A there's a future for that, yes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, when I talk uh, across the board artists, there are a lot of trained artists in this town that are just dynamite. Uh, Ms. Margot Russell, she's local. Uh, just uh, she's been showing, I think, in Troy. She was on the actual uh, Montgomery TV channel with her work and stuff. There's just a uh, Carol Phillips is a very trained artist. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on a bunch. Uh, Ms. Tara Dalton, uh, just a, a lot of good uh, talent out there. Really good talent. Well, Rick, if somebody wants to find out about your artwork, find out about how they can get a piece or your dad's work or whatever, what, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they can get in touch with me at the uh, bowling alley. Uh, or here. Or here, one of the two. And, uh, you know, they'll hand out that information. So, you know, anybody interested, just uh, give us a call. We're going to try to get you set up somewhere because you you got some beautiful stuff. Well, thank you. And, uh, thank you. We hope to highlight it at our new studio in, yes. uh, in, in, uh, on the square. And uh, people will be able to see it there because yeah, that's it's a, on the square. That's a beautiful building it is. All it the is remodeling that's taken place. Yes. Yes. And we have. We've done a lot of work in oh, there, folks. it looks folks. good, folks. <laughs> it looks awesome. It does. I, I'm going to miss the old set, but, you know, not too bad. Looking forward. Yeah, yes. I'm looking forward to the future. Yes. But, uh, folks, with that being said, we have really tied it up. Yes. And, and uh, go ahead. Keep it real? No, I ain't done there. You're not real? Okay. No, it's okay. Slow down. Okay. It's okay. I was looking at the time. I know. We ran over a little bit. I know bit. we did. But you know what? I told the guy that runs the station. I hear he's, he's pretty good. He's next to me. I hear he's pretty good. Oh, yeah. 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 Back <laughs> behind the scenes over there. <laughs> but uh, you've got a wonderful wife and, and children that uh, I do. I'm very you. blessed. Yes. Yes. And uh, actually, my uh, oldest little boy, he's been selling a few pieces, you know, for a couple of dollars here and there. So. Oh, he's doing art. He's artwork. doing art, yes. yes. Wow. Well, see, that's what's cool. That, you know, that to me is just fascinating. I'd love to invite you and your son, okay, and any other artists out there 
to come on and and paint on live on TV if that's okay. all right. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't want to you know put anybody under the pressure. Right. But I want to share this to the community. Okay. This is why we are the community television station because it's things like this that we need to bring out to the public. I agree. I agree. So any artist out there of any caliber, I don't care whether you paint Van Goghs and, and, and Mona Lisa's, uh, you know, to stick men, you're welcome to come on and share that. That's good. Now, uh, John Logan, that's my oldest, he, uh, he paints in a style uh, a little bit like his granddaddy. Uh, actually, I look at it and I, I wish I could do some of it, you know. <laughs> What what better way to say it though? That's, that's I mean, a compliment. That, yes, yes, it yes. is. And uh, there's other artists out there that are in the folk world that uh, I see their kids have, uh, you know, followed in the footsteps. Uh, there's Annie Tolliver out of uh, Montgomery. Uh, there's uh, quite a few other ones out there. So, well, we look forward to uh, getting the word out to the community and and letting folks know that. Uh, uh, it's okay that you know we're that's what this is all about if somebody came to that door right now and said Eddie I'd love to go on and share about my artwork or my photography or my woodcrafts right. or my sculpting or you know whatever it is I want to be a part of that I want this station to be a part of it yeah, he's and, telling the truth on that yeah and, he really and, is and uh, when we're up on the square I don't care if we're live on the air you know come on in you know <laughs> A little easier than some of the ones that used to come in. I know me. I remember those days. <laughs> Call the cops, quick! <laughs> uh, uh, no, hopefully we, it's different now. It, it is, yes. and you know, uh, <laughs> many bumps and bruises literally later. <laughs> but y'all are welcome, and uh, especially the art community is is certainly welcome with WKNI TV twenty five. Thanks a lot, Rick, for being Thank who you. you are. Thank you for uh, letting me share a few moments with you. You're a gentleman. Everybody I talk to, you know, that knows you is like, really, that guy is just phenomenal. And, uh, well, and I met your wife for the first time, and she's sweet. She was very nice. Yes, yes she is. Yes, yes. I you need have, to say that. I couldn't have done any better. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I like this. That's Go right. On. Yeah. Well, I keep going there. Let's get a little more. <laughs> uh, Kristen will start thinking I'm lying in a minute if I go too far. But. Oh, okay. But she is really sweet. And, she really uh, is. A beautiful young lady. Very good mother. And uh, the, the children are just absolutely gorgeous. And they're absolutely right. driving her crazy right now. School's out. Yeah, well, uh, bring them on, you know. Oh, oh. What? Oh, they're a terror. They no, really are. They are. They're not as bad as you think they are. We'll put them to work painting. Hey, hear that, fellas? They'd love put them it. To work. They'd yeah, put them to work painting. I bet you... Oh. We're going to talk about it off the air. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to send them over there. We know exactly where they need to go. Oh, yeah. Over to the bowling alley where the painting's being done. Oh, that's right. Don, Don Dupree he, will, will definitely take on the kids to help them paint. That's right. So, uh, so Don, we appreciate your volunteering for all the young children in the community to come out and paint <laughs> at the bowling alley. <laughs> He'll be there about 3.30 this afternoon, so. Yeah, just, <laughs> just mosey on in. <laughs> bring your finger paints, hands on the white. I can see that now. I can't, you know. I could see. You know, Don, I just gave you a great idea. Yeah, because it works out at the uh, Dream Park. Yeah, you know, hands on the there. community. Yes, yes. See? All the color that would be in there. I think you're on to something. A lot of color. A lot of color. Let the kids come in and, yes. and, and oh, man. And his, uh, I can see it, can't you, Teresa? Wouldn't that be cool? It would be. No, we'll put up scaffolding and, and yeah, we'll do something unsafe. And, and, Just get him and up. Donald, there. Donald, hold him <laughs> up, you know, to the first board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it was up on the shelf, and it was too high. Yes, it was too high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. It's been a good good morning. We love you, Don. I don't know what tonight's going to bring, but we love you. <laughs> and remember, first hour is on WKNI. At That's the right. Come on out. Enjoy Manor. it. And with that, keep it real. Keep God in it. We love you all. God bless you. Thanks for everybody watching. Thanks for all the kind words. We'll see you tomorrow right here, same time, same place.